welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on five healthy breakfast ideas which you can make very quickly and easily in your kitchen. These are all balanced between healthy fats, carbs and proteins. So let's get started. The first recipe is a breakfast smoothie which I always have banana and strawberry so you want to weigh out 50 grams of frozen banana using frozen banana will help thicken out the smoothie consistency and generally keep it colder and you want to use about 50 grams of strawberries I use a mix of strawberries and blueberries because strawberries are lower in calories but blueberries are higher in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory so they're seen as like a super berry then you want to add about a quarter cup of ice then you want to add one scoop of protein i choose the blueberry and cinnamon protein by my protein it really really is a nice flavored protein and then you do want to fill up about three quarters of it full with water. I lightly like slightly a thinner consistency smoothie, but if you like it thicker, then add less water. And then voila, you're done. This is the perfect breakfast smoothie. The next healthy breakfast idea will be green make me a machine smoothie bowl. And the basis of this smoothie bowl will be avocado. So you want to weigh out 75 grams of avocado. You then want to add about two cupfuls of ice. This will help it all blend together and create a perfect smoothie bowl. And then you want to add about one to two espresso shots of coffee. I use decaf and this will give it a little bit of a kick later. You then want to add in about one handful of spinach. This is obviously a Christopher's vegetable and high in antioxidants. You then want to add about two tablespoons of cacao powder. Here I only used a teaspoon, but I should have really used more cacao. Now I've tried it a few times. And one scoop of protein powder. So this is the coffee and walnut flavor, which will really complement the espresso shot. You then want to add in one about a quarter cup of water as well as a pinch of salt which I didn't film and then you want to blend it up and voila you're done green make me a machine smoothie bowl it should be slightly thicker icier consistency and the use of avocado for healthy fats and coffee will help you have a sustained amount of energy for longer i top my smoothie bowl with a banana and some cacao nibs banana is very rich in potassium and vitamin k and it's also a really nice simple carb as well as cacao nibs which are just my favorite because they are the purest form of chocolate and i just love chocolate so they're amazing on top of a smoothie bowl is my apple crumble oats now this is perfect so what you want to do is you want to weigh out 70 grams of oats or your, whatever your preferred choice is and I'm using the gluten-free oats by Nains here and then you want to add some water I you can choose half milk half water or I just choose water because it still gives it the thicker consistency I'm looking for and you want to mix 
and you just want to leave this for about 10 to 15 minutes so that the oats absorb the water. Once your oats are waiting to absorb the water, you want to spray some oil. I use the Frylight olive oil spray onto a frying pan and cut apples quite thinly to ensure that this will give the caramelization of the apples correctly. You then want to add nutmeg and cinnamon, both to your own preference. I do use quite a lot of it because I do like it and you want to coat the apples in both of these. You then want to leave the apples on a medium to low simmer for about 15 minutes as well. You shouldn't cook with olive oil on too high a heat because it does release toxins. Now for the crumble. You want to weigh out about 30 grams of pine nuts. I purely use pine nuts because they're small. And then you want to use nuts of my choice for hazelnuts and cashews, but you can use whatever. You want to finely dice them so that it creates the crumble effect. And you want to use a combination of about 60 grams of nuts here. Once your oats have absorbed the water, you want to place the apples on the side of the bowl once they've turned slightly golden brown and then you want to place the nuts on the other side of the bowl so that is my healthy apple crumble oats Ryan Little. <laughs> breakfast idea is my banana bread cookies these actually have no sugar in and I already have a video on my channel on the full recipe which I will link on the screen now these are the perfect breakfast cookie and they are soft and if you keep them in an airtight container they can last up to three to four days my last breakfast idea is for all those people that are in a rush these are the old-fashioned oats that I put on my Instagram what you want to do is you want to weigh out 70 grams of oats with 15 grams of chia seeds and place this in a simmering pot of water to boil. Oats are a fantastic carb in the morning as they will keep you fuller for longer and they do contain a slight amount of protein. And then you want to add about two tablespoons of cinnamon. This is a great appetite suppressant as well as some nutmeg. Both of these really complement the oats and you want to stir this in while it's on the pan to heat. You want to leave the oats on for about 15 to 20 minutes and cooking the oats on the stove is definitely the best way to eat them. You then, once poured into a bowl, want to add your protein powder. Adding your protein powder after definitely changes the consistency of it and helps it thicken out and the taste of the oats is better. So this is my quick and easy oat mole which I make most mornings. I know it's filmed on my phone but I thought I might as well include it because it's mostly what I eat when I'm in a rush or when I just fancy a bowl of oatmeal. I've been eating oats in the morning for the last two years and it's what I love. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and a subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on your Instagram. And if you do recreate any of these videos, please don't forget to tag me. Thank you.